Good morning, afternoon, wherever you're tuning in from. Tales of a Frigate Bird. It is a beautiful morning. My name is Dan Campbell. I am from Australia. I live on this gorgeous island of Kauai. As you can see, it is a spectacular day, which means we are going fishing. Not sure, well, I kind of know what we want to go for today. I know that there's some 20 pound uh, yellowfin tuna, uh, shebies. And there's some mahi out there. I've got my mahi shirt on. So, for, it's really hard to decide whether you go fishing or surfing when it's like this, because the waves are just impeccable. But we're going fishing. I'm gonna head out pretty quickly, get on the ledge, and let's get after it. Woohoo! Look at these conditions. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. So the theme today is to try and find some rubbish. I'm actually running up the ledge here off Kauai uh, to Anahola, hoping I can hook into an Ono. There are a few around, apparently. So we're gonna try and do everything right today. Um, run up the ledge to Anahola. Maybe throw a domashi in for some live bait and head out wide and try and find birds and rubbish. And hopefully some shibis and mahis. Something interesting in the water way out off of there. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. It could be a military boat or a couple of different boats sitting on something. But when the conditions are this nice, it's pretty key to try and find rubbish. Like this is when you're gonna find it, this is when you're gonna find it, when it's glassed out. Beautiful conditions like this. If I can find uh, a little bit of rubbish and some mahis, I have my fly rod locked and loaded in the side hull there. I've got my small little waist belt uh, reel up the front and uh, I'll put something small on that now so it's ready to go. Hoping we can get into the Mahi Mahis today. Um, but at the end of the ledge here in Anahola, it's the old buoy, WK buoy, washed in there. And since the water's so, so pristine and clear today, I might do a run by it uh, and see if there's anything around it. I forgot my spear gun, I brought everything else. I brought my fins and mask and, and all of that. But who knows, I might just jump in the water and have a little bit of a look. Today would have been a perfect day dive it but uh, we've also got a massive north swell inbound so who knows when that's going to arrive and it is uh, the buoy's quite close to shore and if you've got a big set came through you'll probably find yourself pretty unlucky anyway <laughs> look at that we're on the ledge and i just spot it big old whale mama whale and a baby right ahead of me so hopefully we get a little bit of a look here whoa Middle of the Pacific Ocean. Look at this place, man. Frickin' unreal. I can see another one that way. I'm gonna run past the first one, 
run past the second one and then go and check out the third one. But if you're looking for rubbish, this is the kind of line we're looking for. Sure would be nice Have to hook something right now. Jeez, I love it if the mahi's turned up. I've got one little live bait. He's on oxygen. If we don't catch anything, I'll let him go. For good luck, but holy moly, what a day. Look at this thing. Woo. One more ball that way. Just passing one right there. Let's go and see what this one's doing right here. Oh, more plastic. Oh, another one there. Okay, we're in the rubbish line. We're in a really good rubbish line here. Let's get something in the blind. If I don't get something on this turn, I'm going to switch out lures. I've got pink and blues pretty much all the way. No, left hand side uh, is gold. I might have to trade him out. But I've got uh, Morris Lewis 100% of down the right hand side. I've got a pink blue popper right in the middle here. And my big gold out the back there, hoping for, well, obviously, 120 pound ahi. All right, let's catch a fish. There's that first buoy right there. Ooh, what do we got around that guy? Come on, mahi. Little mahi, he's got a fight. Yeah! Come on, bud. Oh, don't lose him. Please don't lose him. Uh, it's hard fishing by yourself sometimes. You've got to do all the things. Don't lose him. Lost him. Oh. Fish here. There are fish out. I got shark the first time. Not sure what it is. More Akus. We'll take them. Yeah. Get back out there. Bowie. Number two. Cleaning up the ocean. One buoy at a time. There's a bunch of crabs on that. and rubbish. Wow. Dolphins. She's right here. Quick little insert before we watch this next piece. Um, 
I was on this rubbish line and just hooked up a little uh, aku that got bit in half. Um, so it kind of got shark. Actually, it might have been a dolphin, but um, this big mama whale and a bunch of dolphins came up right beside the boat. Now, in Hawaii, uh, humpback whales are protected and you're not meant to be within 100 yards of them with a vessel. Um, but over the years, I mean, obviously, they come up right beside the boat every now and again. And on this day, she came up right beside the boat right after getting that fish and she just started sticking around. And because it was because I was in a, such a big rubbish line uh, with nets and ropes and all kinds of stuff, I started to, like, wonder why she was sticking around. They don't normally do that. And, and I kind of made a decision, should I better just jump in the water and have a look and make sure she doesn't have uh, a rope or a net on her. So I just chucked on my mask and jumped off the boat with the GoPro and I didn't really get a good look. Um, and I made a, an epic mistake right there. I left my boat miles out to sea by myself and the wind was going one way and the current was going the other. And I realized that quite quickly. So I swam back to the boat quickly, set myself up a uh, rope and put on my fins and put on my goggles and jumped in once more and she'd come even closer. And I ended up getting a good look at her and she was fine. There was no nets around. She was just hanging out. It happened to be just one of those special moments, one of those special days where the wildlife um, just wanted to hang out and peace out. And the dolphins came really close and it was a really, ended up being a really special moment. Um, so I'm just going to, you know, this next little bit's just going to be unedited, sort of raw as it unfolds. What a special day. And then we'll get back into the rest of the video. Woohoo! them so friendly. She 
has been so cool. Wow. Wow, that was pretty special. Came straight out to the boat, so did the dolphin. Alright. Oh, Damn, that was epic. Days like these make everything, right? Look at what I love. And what I live for. Whew. Oh, beautiful.
got it. Battling. Now good decision. Put that in the bin. Oh my. I'm not the only person. So cool that net. Not very dire. You find a duck. Quack. Fucking rubbish everywhere. Look at this. Ropes. Plastic. Oh, here's another net. Oh my god, if this doesn't have markings on it. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm tangling up every freaking lure behind the boat right now, but I'm gonna say this. Pretty sure I just found a glass ball and in the middle of the Pacific Ocean to find one of these is almost about as special as finding a 200 or 150 pound tuna out uh, here. These are so rare. They generally come from Japan. I really hope this is a glass ball because if it's just a plastic one, I'm going to be pissed. But let's... Oh my God. That... Can we not tangle? I'm gonna have to do that again. <laughs> okay, one more round. I don't know what's going on here, but that's the fourth ball. Please don't tangle. There's number four ball. And there's another one, like a white one out there. Oh my God, I can still see it. But we are gonna go and grab this glass one. Imagine, <laughs> imagine I got hooked up right now going this slow. Probably is freaking fish around this lake. Come on, what is it? It's 11 to 55 actually. So we're on the bottom of the low tide right now. Um, that's why nothing's really moving. Nothing's moving right now. So we're probably gonna get a swing in the tide in the next 20 minutes. And maybe, maybe. That'll be the difference between catching a fish and not catching a fish. We are about five miles off Kauai right now on a really, really cool current line that's holding rubbish. I am going to run up north a little bit more and then cruise back down this line towards uh, Lahui. See if we can't pick up something in the blind. But the, uh, it would be super nice to find a, a freaking net right now. Just a couple of mahi would be nice. Freaking got the shirt on, eh? <laughs> All right, let's go. In an ocean this big, that is considered gold, absolute gold. Wow. How fucking cool is that, man? Geez, I, well, I don't want to keep saying it, but I think I heard Morris <laughs> Nah, I don't want to keep saying it, but in this big old ocean, the chances of finding one of these is so slim. I found a couple off Nihau, and in what, 17 years of living on Kauai, I've got maybe three. Um, in fact, I think this is the number three one. What a awesome, they're normally wrapped in rope, right? Glass ball, holy shit, man. <laughs> 
Oh, I hope we catch a fish because my cats are hungry. Anyway, let's go fishing. This is so cool. Leave it alone. Oh my God. <laughs> Watch this. Okay, you guys win. Watch this. That was just knocked by dolphins. Here we go. Not one, not two, but three glass balls in a day. This rubbish line. is unbelievable right now. I've never seen it like this. I really honestly can't say I've ever seen the rubbish line this bad. Uh, this is phenomenal and the glass balls don't normally come from the United States, they normally come from the uh, Japanese side. So whatever's washing in and however it's washing in right now, Pretty phenomenal. I'm gonna put a deep swimmer down because I keep getting caught up with the lures on the surface here. But I guess this episode is all about how full of fucking rubbish this ocean is that we should be taking care of. It's unbelievable and so sad. God, no wonder. Catching fucking rubbish, not fish. Oh, breaks my heart. Anyway, maybe we can get a fish. We do have two on board. <laughs> Got some cat food on board, but crazy. Look at this. Look at this rubbish. Unbelievable. Right. All right, well, that was a fun day on the ocean. I uh, Got a couple of fish, a little yellow fin and a little aku, but oh, cleaned up the ocean. Look at this, whole bunch of stuff. That is a prize right there. And I ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six balls today. Last balls and a duck. <laughs> uh, it's crazy what you find on the ocean, isn't it? All right, that's a wrap. See you on the next one.